All right, welcome back to On the Range with Brian. Today we are shooting out on number 18 in Tavern Creek. Beautiful day today. Um, last video I spoke to you about what the trail elbow should do in the backswing. Today we're going to talk about how to start a good downswing. And then I have a little drill that I think is really beneficial for both of those. So last week I talked about not trying to keep that trail elbow tucked so close to your body but let it kind of rise up a little more naturally. Um, today, I think a lot of people struggle with a little bit of an off balance golf swing, and that's usually caused by how they start the downswing, usually. So what I mean by that is if we start really quickly with just our arms and not use any of our legs or lower body, it's easy to fall off balance, okay? So I wanna try and get everyone using their lower body to sort of trigger the downswing. So it should look more like this little shift to the front foot. And then as our arms are coming down, let our hips turn. We wanna make sure we turn and remain nice and balanced in the, in the through swing. Um, so the drill I have today, it's sort of simple, but again, I think it'll help get you positioned nicely at the top. And then momentum is gonna help trigger the downswing. So what it is, is you just take any club you want, get in your setup and you're gonna push your arms in the club forward, and then that's gonna trigger the backswing. So we'll use kind of momentum to go up to the top, and then what I'm hoping is that'll trigger a proper downswing where you're gonna use your lower body. Okay, so again, it's push forward, even let your body turn a bit, then swing it up nice and smooth, then down and through, kind of hold your finish for a minute. Um, but again, I think that momentum change of going back and down will really, really encourage you to use your legs because the, the, the majority of over the top players that, that really slice the ball and come over the top, it's because their upper body is out racing their lower body. So I really think a simple drill like this, just with no golf ball, you can do it in your backyard, push forward, swing up, down and through, hold the finish, give a club twirl, but I think that can help a lot of our members. If you have any questions, obviously feel free to get a hold of me. Other than that, I look forward to seeing you next time on the range with Ryan.